The ISS, the space station, has given us an opportunity to learn about individuals, humans living in space. Mm -hmm. Mark and Scott Kelly, famously the twins study when one of them was on, in the ISS and one was on Earth. What have we learned that helps us know how to um, manage our bodies for this eight to 10 month journey to Mars? Well, very quickly, let me characterize, besides being a human aquarium surrounded by water so that you're radio protected, um, the other way that you can protect yourself from radiation is to actually have your stem cells drawn before you leave the planet and basically have them carried with you, um, preserve them, and be able to sort of harvest them and replant them if we were to take a big radiation hit. Wow. So we would quarantine ourselves for several weeks or more and then slowly allow our bones kind of to reharvest our blood supply and give us back that immunity because that's where radiation does affect us. It reduces our immune capacity along with some other conditions. Um, the other thing that can happen is when you first go into space, um, your blood volume starts to float towards your head and it congests your ears and kind of gives you this kind of foggy space brain initially, but over time it can affect your, um, your, your uh, focus to some degree, but your vision, you can become more farsighted we're seeing. The other things that can happen is it can change uh, your taste and actually make foods and medicines harder to absorb because of some of the congestion that happens in your stomach. So how do we guard against that? Well, the important thing, and Kim will talk about it, is being very smart about our nutrition, changing it up so that we don't get space anorexia, which comes from appetite fatigue, eating the same thing, the same texture, same colors over time. Um, the other thing that we can do is find different ways to administer medicines, maybe through the nose, nasal sprays, as opposed to having to ingest it in some cases. If we get sick or injured, our surgeries need to be done through a tube so that we're able to contain our body fluids. Mm -hmm. um, you can't just slice somebody open in microgravity. There you because go. Because the blood will all fly Everything around. floats, right. absolutely. And the other concern is certainly with our bones um, demineralizing or thinning out, and our muscles weakening, that affects our heart and our ability to exercise, our exercise tolerance. And that can very much not only affect our performance, but if we were to get injured, if we were to strain a muscle or ligament or break a limb, we're going to heal very slowly. And that might be enough time to slow down our resiliency and our strength and turn us from a Mars visitor to a pioneering Mars welcome wagon committee.